Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel, I'm Nicholas and today we're back with uh, one of the latest comebacks within the awesome K-pop month of June uh, and one is that's basically a teaser for what we are about to be getting in July because Super Junior is back with their first or I think just their pre-release single slash music video release ahead of their 11th album coming out in July, this pre-release music video is Don't Wait, and I'm very excited for this, first of all, because Super Junior is one of those groups that I've been aiming to check out more in, for a while now, and there's only one other Super Junior music video reaction on this channel thus far, which was Colin, which was the most recent comeback. Before that, though, we actually did last year my first sound reaction to Super Junior, which was House Party, and just like I said, back in that Calling MV, I will still be doing a first time reaction video where I finally re-upload that um, reaction to House Party, which was due to combat reasons with something I've explained before and there we will be adding three other music videos on top of it so four uh, Super Junior music video reactions overall. We will be doing that before the second music video comes out so now is near the end of J uh, June I think it's on July 11th. I think that's when the full album releases with the uh, with the main time track MV. Before then, we will be doing that first time reaction video where we will be doing the house party MV plus I think the three most viewed ones. So look forward to that. But for now, we can together enjoy this pre-release, which is Don't Wait. So let's not wait any longer. Let's stop the talking. Let's start the reacting. Super Juniors, Don't Wait music video. Let's check it out. Let's go. Oh, it looks a bit retro, like even the filter on the on camera here. Ooh. Visually, it looks a bit 70s, 60s, huh? Ooh. Oh, I love that pre-chorus right there. The way we drown and everything else for a moment. Ooh, <laughs> love the humor that's involved here. Generally like how simple them be is. It's multi... It's mostly just the set that they built here. But the camera work is really good. It makes it still feel very alive. This pre-chorus is really cool. The way we do a complete turnaround and instead of increasing the hype, we put it down and then get back into the groove. Oh, what this second part of the chorus here? This vocal section. Mm. I like the old school static a lot. Is it 70s? Or is it or is it actually 80s already? I'm not sure. We even have these these fun little drums in there. Hey, this has such a great rhythm to it. But give me that, give me that vocal section again. Hey, this is just all the right vibes, seriously. This is such a simple, fun track right here. Like we had it with House Party already. Oh, oh we loop in the chorus here actually. <laughs> it's like, hell yeah, that's what I'm into. <laughs> hey. This is a lot. Okay, that was a lot of fun. 
Seriously, I mean, House Party had that switch in the middle where it ran really heavy for a moment, but ultimately, House Party was still more of a very funky dance song, way more upbeat though, because Super Juniors don't wait such a simple lean back dance song. So it's not a, you know, you go really high, but like, you know, you really party out to it, you do dance to it, but more of a, you know, more of a, more of a smooth left to the right and right to the left kind of style, right? It's really more of that direction. In my opinion, it really works that way. So, obviously, like mentioned, the music video aesthetic is very, very old school. Like mentioned, I'm not sure about the exact decade. Is it 60s? Is it 70s? Or maybe even the 80s? Uh, can fully tell you, but it feels a bit more 70s uh, visually. Whatever it is, we also have that filter on top of it too, and we like mentioned majority use only this uh, little build set here, you know. So it's def you, you see, it's definitely a pre-release MV and not as big as you know as the main MV will probably be, but it still really took a lot out of the um out of the set that they had here. Really made it still a fun and cool, energetic music video. They look great too, right? They're all looking handsome. They're all looking great in these outfits and like mentioned more old school attires, the leather jackets. Looks all great, right? The, the dancing was a lot of fun. And in my personal heart, the song for sure, where the four, the four, the four um, very smooth vocal parts in the chorus, right? At the end, we actually looped the chorus twice there, which I really enjoyed, to be honest. Um, where we really go from the more fun, playful flowing to the really more... These, these few lines in there... Ooh, they sound so good. There, there, the vocals really shine through for a moment because the rest of the song is neither really a flow nor really a vocal showcase, like mentioned, more of a middle fun type of uh, sound direction they went for, which suits them still, but these vocal sections, definitely my thing. Definitely my, my favorite part of the song. The way we go... The way we keep it first middly, then go back, go up for a moment before going down again. That's that flows very, very nicely. That sounds really, really good. So ultimately, Super Junior Stone Wade is such a fun time. Seriously, there's nothing I can criticize. There's nothing I could be like, hey, this was my thing or anything. It's a extremely fun on point, left to the right, right to the left, smooth type of dance song that isn't taking itself too serious here, both the music video and song have good humor involved as well, and especially still has a good vocal section in there to showcase the Super Junior vocals, because everything I've heard from Super Junior thus far is vocally especially really great, so Super Juniors don't wait. That was such a fun time, okay? This is like a insanely great um, taste and um... Preview for what we can expect for the 11th album. I'm not sure yet if I will be reacting to the full thing because it's obviously a lot, but maybe if a lot of y'all want to see that, then maybe we can do that too. So, yeah, other than that, this was a lot of fun, fun, short, on point, super genius, don't wait music video. I had a lot of fun with it. I enjoyed it a lot, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, leave a like down below to show me that you did. What are your thoughts on today's reaction and the Super Junior Don't Wait music video? What was your favorite part of it? Tell me all about it down below in the comments as well. And as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you want to support me, then you can leave this up as well or support my Patreon. It would help me a lot. And like mentioned, before the full album release comes around alongside with the main time track, which I think is Mango, we will be doing the first time reaction video where you will finally get my first time reaction, which was last year to House Party, alongside then the three most out of your music videos. There are so many other music videos as well, which we can all do in catching up on videos down the road. So for whatever content you may be interested in, for whatever content you may want you in for, I will see you again soon on the channel. So that's it for happy. Have a great time, have a great remaining week, and see you again soon with more Super Junior. And other K-pop reactions. Thank you so much for watching.